What's going on, Corillo? This is 6C, and I want to talk about what happened on Thursday when the trailer, or I guess just to say the announcement that Nisa were going to be doing Trolls of Cosio 3. They're going to be local, uh, they're going to translate it, they got the localization, and everybody went ballistic, mad, and gatekeeping this whole past weekend, and this whole weekend basically. Everybody just went on and destroyed Nisa online in any social media you can think of. YouTube, Twitter, uh, Reset Era, whatever forward you can think of, they talk about Kiseki. Everybody blasted Nisa. Now, I don't want to make this video of me defending Nisa because I'm definitely going to be talking about some shit about them in this video. But I do want to talk about this outrage because this is actually the first time I've ever seen the Kiseki fanbase just going off. It's just bitch, uh, bitch basically about Nisa all day, every day for the last couple of days. But and anyway, so let's talk about the Twitter for a second here. So when they made their announcement, this is how the tweet looks like. And of course, for whatever reason, they fucked up the hashtag here. They um, they did, uh, you know, they put four, four um, things instead of three. But let's get past that. Let's just see what people are saying about this. Because I want to go over this real quick with you guys. As I think I want to go over this uh, yesterday. But I was too busy that I couldn't touch it. But today we're gonna talk about this because I think this is very important. Because, like I said, this is the first time I see the community community outrage like this. So this is the first tweet that is the most like out of everything here. It says here, you just need to step up on this one. You have a history of doing shoddy localization work, and that will be absolutely unacceptable on this title. I hope you made the commitment. I hope you made that commitment before you decided to take on the franchise that's been handled with such care and love. Uh. This is a very, a very, uh, uh, a very good tweet. You know, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not uh, bashing on Nisa completely. It's not gatekeeping, but I want to talk about what he says here. Uh, history of doing city localization work. Uh, when I uploaded my announcement of Coastal Three and my little reaction of Nisa uh, doing the the localization work, some of you guys were saying like you guys did not know that Nisa has a history of doing shady work, so. You guys go on Google. You guys can put on Google Nisa and uh, and put pastebin, just like it says here, and you're gonna find this pastebin or basically all the screw up that Nisa has done. Now the major problem with Nisa is not that they screw up the games because every company they every company does mistakes. You know I'm not gonna be into, uh, and basically circle jerking Nisa so much, but I gotta be honest here. Every company screw up one way or another. You know, sometimes they they release a game and it comes with bug, a game breaking box, and they fix them. You know, but Nisa has an issue of not acknowledging the problem, and that is the biggest problem with Nisa. Not only not only, just, not only the localization work is bad, but they don't acknowledge that they fuck up. I think that's the main issues that everybody have with Nisa. They they don't they don't they don't acknowledge until there's a, a big outrage. So here's a list. Of all the game they have screwed up that they never bothered to fix, you know, opening style brutally, game game crashing. I want to go over this one right here because I think this one is very important here. PC, uh, the PlayStation TV says here, one patch they beat a game for PlayStation support. You should the first to Sony despite being on on them. When I bought Costio 2, when I bought Costio 2, I asked, uh, well, what's my call it? I asked XE if it was. Uh, PlayStation TV support if I could play it on my PlayStation TV because I didn't have a, a, a PlayStation Vita I went on Twitter and I asked XC myself if they have support for this if I could buy if I could play the uh, Coast 2 on my PlayStation TV and they uh, they replied back to me on, 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 on that tweet they even replied back to me saying yes there's a day one patch you'll be able you should be able to play Coast 2 on your PlayStation TV so yes, this is on the publisher, which is Nisa. Uh, and they want to kind of blame on Sony on one of the issues here. Even there's an article about this actually. To open this article. Oh, they they have their they have the forum though. Oh, how convenient! How convenient is that? But anyway, basically you can see all the little fuck up they had done. I mean, I can add to this myself. I can add to this. this is like from what 2015. I can definitely add to this list. But as you guys can see, Nisa has a history of doing. Uh, not doing the right thing. That's basically the best way to sum this whole page being up. But let's keep it going. I want to talk about more about this uh, about this uh, reply that we're doing here to uh, to Nisa here. We need a PC release now. Let me talk about this one as well. If you guys follow me here on YouTube, you guys know that Falcon has said before that they want all the Kiseki games on the PC. So yes, this is going to happen. 
I have to say though, I am glad that there's not a simultaneous release of PS4 and PC on the same day because I don't want the same problem to happen with like Hermoso Otana G8, which I'm about to get over. But yes, we are going to see a PC release, not this year though, but we definitely going to see a PC release in the future guys. So just be patient, you know, we just got to be patient with things. Oh, look at this one. Please don't let the same thing happen to this uh, A like I'm also done. I want to touch in about this topic real quick. But let's see, uh, when Lucky Muscle Donald came out on the PS4, uh, it was supposed to come out for PC as well. Everybody was asking, where was the PC port? I remember this. I remember that I, even I did a video about this. You guys want to see that video of me calling them out? You guys can see in the doobly doo below. Basically, they were trying to sweep it under the rug. They did no announcement of that where was the PC port at all. I said if you go to Steam, I remember I remember you had to go to Steam to the forum to see the little apology they did, but they never went to any other social media, not even on the website saying, hey, uh we fucked up the PC port so we won't be able to release it at this time. Basically they were trying to swipe it under the rug, you know. This is why I'm kinda glad we don't there was no announcement for PC port because I feel like Nisa is not capable of doing it. Even though they had the resources to do it Nisa is incompetent, to say the least. They're incompetent, and that's the best way to put it. This company is incompetent. Now, uh, here it is. This is another one here. Make a sweet version, you want free money. I already know PC port will come later, so please at least try to have a good point location, please, please. Uh, the piece, let me talk about the Switch thing in a sec. I don't know why, but every time a new game comes out, no matter which game it is, whether it's RPG, JRPG, RPG, whatever game it is, people are always begging for a Switch port. Now, I don't want. I don't. I don't want to sound like a one of those persons that that, that that's just you know tired of seeing people go and saying, "Hey, are we gonna get a Switch port or not?" You know, because the Switch port, you know, Switch port is nice. It's just. It's just. I feel like this community right now is not. It's not gonna be happy no matter what happens. You know, whether it is a PC port or a Switch port, people are always gonna be bitching about something. That's what I feel like right now at the moment, because the bitching of this week that I was watching it on Twitter, man, uh, uh, evolve. The gatekeeping, the gatekeeping, man. You're gonna let me show you this tweet right here. This, this shit is hilarious. It pissed me off. Here it is. This is the tweet I was talking about. She said, "Why all the fans angry? It's better than nothing." Yeah, this is the same comment I pinned on my Costio localization. Um, when I show, when I posted my last video, Costio, uh, on my my Costio announcement, this is the the almost the exact same comment of this guy. It's better than nothing. Also, this really me messed up with your localization. That means this one will be better. Nah, I'm gonna skip this. I just import the game from Japan instead. Wow, wow, dude! Like, oh, you're so cool, my guy. You just just gonna, you know, just because Nisa's uh Nisa announced it, you just just gonna import now the game from Japan. Well, you could have done it before, before even the local, before the conversation was revealed. Who was gonna do it? But anyway, I wanna talk about now what uh there was a couple announcements that Nisa did, which were huge revelations that I wanna go over with you guys. Now, I'm gonna sound like I'm gonna be defending Nisa, but I wanna say that they're trying, man. The, the, Nisa is trying to make things right. So let me show you guys the little bit of stream that they did. Uh, they did a stream basically explaining uh, what they're doing with the game. So these are three. These three guys are developers, and they're like talking. Let me increase the volume a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. I think I, I think I increase it later. But let me go over to the part that matters. Uh, they're revealing here. The people that are working on the game. Let me pause it right here. This is this right here is the most important part. Rion Thompson is a person that worked on Cozy One and Cozy Two, so he knows a little bit already about the lore. He's the translator and, and I guess proofreading. And Brittany Avery is here. The Hatsu girl that was working on NXC. Uh, the person that we don't know if she got fired or not, or she left voluntarily. We don't know exactly what happened with her, but she is working on Cozy Three. She's going to be the editor. If I'm not mistaken, she also is going to be in charge of uh, uh, recording the voice line for Kosio 3. Which is, I'm going to go over in a second about that. Of course, she's uh, she's working, you know, she's at work in pretty, in pretty much in every Kiseki game. And we got this guy named Chris, which also is the editing consultant, and also has a history of the Kiseki series. Now, I want to go to the. I want to also sh uh, show you guys one more thing as well about this. Uh, the Sing Chillock. Seeing Shillock, right, my guy right here. This guy is the boy's original voice actor of Reen. So he is coming back. That's right, guys. They even went and got the original voice actor of Reen for Kosio 1 and 2 back to Kosio 3. 
if this is not evidence enough that they're trying i don't know i don't i, I don't know what to show you guys i mean this is like the best news i have so far after after all the shit show you guys were saying online i mean really as soon as you uh, as soon as nisa announced that people just already went rampaging online and then like in, in the same day they revealed this you know they say hey we we we, we have people from xc for people that have played the previous game on our team so they can help us uh make the playstation smoother and we got the original voice line uh voice actor of Reen back also to do the voice lines is this is this is is this um uh information is not it's not then trying that i don't know what to tell you guys i seriously do not want to say i don't want to sound like i'm defending nisa because you guys know i'm pissed off nisa of many things not just uh, of the lucky muscle dino localization but we gotta try man we gotta they already show they already, uh show a little bit that they, they're trying and that's all that matters to me they're trying and that's it you know that that's what counts for me now guys, to end in a good note here, since I, I feel like I've been going on for too long here. I'm gonna leave you guys the Coastal 4 art book, which is basically, uh, uh, you know, the art book that I, I gave you guys um, when back in Coastal 3. This is the one in Coastal 4. Uh, you guys can see here a couple of pictures I'm gonna probably show you right now. Basically of, of Rain, the new Class 7, the new clothes, the, the S-Craft, Concert Arts. Everything is there. I'm going to leave the link to that in the doobly doo below. I'm going to leave the album there. And let me show you guys the controversial topic. Uh, the, uh, I guess I should say the, con the controversial uh, thumbnail that I had. That you guys probably want to see. So I'm going to show you guys real quick that picture here on this video. I'm going to slay it out just slow as you guys can see it. And yes, guys. I censor that. And you guys probably think it was fantastic. Why? Why are you saying so red? Well, I had to censor it because I am trying to get this video shut down, man. Uh, believe it or not, that pictures come from the art book as well. You guys can see it on the doobly doo below. I don't know. I do not know who draw that from, like from from Fal from the Falcon Company. But yeah, that is actually a true art from the Falcon. <laughs> That's in the art book. You guys can go ahead and see it uncensored. But I'm gonna censor it here on the video because I do not want to get in trouble on me showing that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's just way too much revealing in my opinion. So I, I feel I feel safe if I if I censor it. So you two here those doesn't get mad at me because YouTube lately you guys do not know YouTube lately has been going it's been going crazy right now. Uh, hand man, bring it the hand hammer to many people. So there you go. If you guys are interested on downloading the art book or Cosio 4, you can come to my Discord. I don't want to put the download link on the description here on the doobly doo below on this video because I feel like that's that's pushing it. I already gave you the whole album. You can view the whole album on the link that I, I gave you there. If you guys want to download it, so join the Discord and the link is on the Falcom channel. You guys want to download it. I don't I don't I don't feel comfortable putting everything on the doobly doo. So if you guys want to come and download it, just come to the Discord and it's there. Alright guys. Uh, I want to make this quick video to, uh, uh, talking about this situation because this is actually the first time I ever seen the, the, the Kiseki community on Chambers. You know, I had never seen the Kiseki community this mad, man. And no matter where you go, people were just completely criticizing Nisa. Rightfully so. Rightfully so, I gotta say. But I feel like they were not giving him, they were not giving them a chance, you know. I feel like that after the screw up they did with Lacrimoso like, Odana and since the president of Falcom even came out and apologized for that port, and for the horrible localization, I feel like they're, they're not going to do the same D here again. I feel like they, they cannot be doing that again because that, that could probably definitely damage their relationship with Falco permanently. So, there you go guys. Let me get your thought about all this shit show, all this drama going on, all this fighting with Nisa and the Kiseki community. Do you guys agree with them? What do you guys say about this? Let me get your thought on the comment section below. The comments are fantastic, and I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll let you guys know up to date what is going on with all this. If there's gonna be more news, but so far, in my personal opinion, news is doing the right thing. You know, they're getting the right people, and they, they, they're trying. You know, they're trying. I, that's at the end is what matters to me. The comments are fantastic. Gotcha.